Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And now, let's, we're trying to find someone who's made it into Gruda Town. So let's have a look around here, we might be able to find what we need. I think if we talk to somebody around here, they'll tell us about it. Uh, seen a sneaky guy? A sneaky what? You mean a vo? Sneaking around town? Haven't seen anyone like that. There's a Harley and Vi who uh, likes to relax on the roof. Though in the afternoon, it's probably too hot up there. Huh? Need anything else? No, I don't. But that's actually all we need to know. Basically. Probably. Let's just keep looking around. Harley and Vi, that means it's a hunting woman. As opposed to a Vo. But we can actually go up here. Oh my goodness. There's Va Naboris. And this must be who I'm looking for, maybe? Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gruda Town. Mm. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't couldn't be more help. Study her face or squint suspiciously. Huh? Study her face. Hee <laughs> hee, you're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're very beautiful. Mm. Oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree th that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you com com completely different if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? I'll take them. Mm. It's a deal then. I'll take your rupees now. Oh. If you were rude to her, she wouldn't offer, so... Hee <laughs> hee, I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. Hee <laughs> you look adorable. Mm. Ah, hee yeah. just as I thought, you make quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gruda outfit. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat. At least a little. Oh. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. Mm -hmm. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Heh, makes you make sure you watch out for the wind. If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. So it's implied that this is the Harleyan man who got into Gruda Town. So now that that's all done, let's go to Gruda Town. Although I might also, just quickly, I saw that there was a fire here. I might use it to like make it daytime. Just to make it look a little bit more, you know, special walking into town for the first time. So, let's talk to you. Eep, eek! That lovely young lady is just my type. Still spying? For what? No, 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 no! Of course not! I'm just investigating. Hmm, this exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. 
Hmm. If only he knew. Uh, uh, speaking of which, if I can get to this person over here who's running still. Uh, please. No. So, 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 yeah, hey, the name is Bozai. I'm 35, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm, uh, tenacious about, tenacious as a tick. I, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way, too. So, so, you're out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me for a while? Nice sand jogging. Ah, you notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and... Give me those boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you uh, hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of heard the legend of the eight, eighth heroine? What do you mean? Ah. Everyone's heard the legends in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth heroine. Wiped clean from history and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine known to all, but seen by none. I've taken the I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. <laughs> Find her. Show me the eighth heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. Uh... Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> According to those who idolize the eighth heroine, she is enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant. Catchy beyond that. I don't really know much. Who knows? There might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the legend of the Seren hero her heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something if you find her, and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure it's at least the statue's upper half that is visible, okay? Oh, and here, if you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy, besides. You seem really into boots. When we get snow boots. When we get snow speed up from that. Bonsai was kind enough to lend you these boots. They ev evenly distribute your body weight. So you can mount maintain your normal walking speed over deep snow. The Gruder Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. No, you can walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they're extremely valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? Oh, that's a shame. Many have investigated the 8th heroine, but it's incredible. <sighs> In oh my goodness. Inscrutable legend, an unsolved and possibly unsolvable solvable mist puzzle. And Miss Boots spins her wheels on it. We'll grow closer and closer, and then, uh. hee hee. Okay, I'm gonna go this way now. So, now that that's all done, let's go into Gerudo Town. Guards don't stop me this time. Made into the city. So there's quite a few things to look around at. There's the clothing over here, which looks like what we're wearing right now, except not dyed, the color that we have it. There's also some more stuff to buy. Some hydromelon, some vault fruit, and also some hearty durian, which you know I'm gonna want tons of. This fruit's mighty odor has earned it the nickname King of Fruits. It offers immense restor <laughs> restorative powers. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase your maximum hearts and also give you a full restore, which is the most overpowered thing ever. Anyway, 
Hello, Goron. You. Eh. Sabota? What was it? Was, was that it? I can't tell. Apparently you have... You really have to bite your lip to get that V sound clear, out clearly. A little kid made fun of me yesterday for not being able to get the pronunciation right. I don't know why, but it sounds the same to me no matter what I do. We can also have a look at these shrooms over here of all different types. Even Chill Shroom, which apparently I haven't seen before. I might have seen it before, but you just didn't read it. Often found at the base of pine trees in cold climates, these mushrooms are cool to the touch and can be used to cook dishes that allow you to stay cool even in the arid regions. Lots of people to talk to if I wanted to. What's over here? Some meat. Oh, there's actual prime steak that I need to find. Is it? Or go gourmet meat? That one. But it needs to be raw. So where do I get that from? I don't know. Good morning. I really want to use the actual Gerudo greeting. You know, Savota. But I'm worried. I'd mess it up and embarrass myself. You know, like... Look at me, I can speak another language. It just feels like bragging. Don't overthink it. You really think I'm putting too much thought into it? Maybe you're right. Gerudo Town is so different from home. I live in Rito Village. We don't get many visitors there, so I'm not really familiar with non-Rito. But now that I'm here, I should enjoy myself. I wanted to start by trying out some of the meat here, but... Well, they don't seem to have poultry. Why would you... No, okay. It's fine. Just a Rito wanting poultry. Oh. Are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm Ashi. Ashai. Uh, during the day, I teach a class on the Vo of the world. And at night, I teach cooking classes. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Ah, I'm alright. Also, some arrows here in quite massive quantities, which is probably very good. If I wanted it, but it looks like it's somewhat expensive. Yeah, 20 rupees for 5. But it's still fairly good if you want to get them quickly and just have rupees. Um, just going to look around a little bit more. There's quite a lot to look at, so. Over here we have rock salt and tabantha wheat and hardian rice. Just around the place. Have I had a look at Tabantha? I'm pretty sure I've had a look at Tabantha wheat, maybe. This grain is cultivated ex extensively on the Tabantha Plains. It's uh, ground finely with a millstone to be used in cooking. Use it to make things such as stews and breads. Let's keep looking around. I don't think I should be going into people's houses just randomly. But I believe there's also just books we can look at. Chef Ari Tamu, Volume 2. It's too high up to read. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Uh, probably because I'm just short. Arr, get up there! Arr. Can I not actually get up here? I feel like I should be able to get up there. Maybe I'm just crazy? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm a little bit crazy. I might be able to... I feel like I should be able to get up there. Maybe. Volume 1. Special effects. Most ingredients can imbue their meals with some unique effects. Ingredients that have cold properties can help you resist heat. Ingredients that have hearty properties can fully heal you. Thank you for pointing it out. And grant you temporary bonus vitality. There are many other effects to be found among ingredients. You just have to know the... You just have to experiment. And don't forget, climbing, combining ingredients with the same effect may increase the effect, effect's strength or duration. But combining ingredients with different effects may cancel their enhancing effects out, so you must be careful. I, Ori Tamu, am admittedly quite impatient, so I always have uh, speed increase increasing hasty foods on hand. Extraordinary elixirs. You can cook up an elixir by mixing bug parts, uh, a bug, bug part and monster part together. 
Elixirs can be made in pots, just like food, and with valuable ingredients, the elixir's effect will get stronger. You can add acorns or chicolo tree nuts to impart your elixir with minor healing properties. However, I, Ori Tamu, am deathly afraid of insects and would never even think of touching them. Fortunately, there are regular meals that you can cook uh, which produce the same effects as elixirs. Fairies? It is said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but they, that they will only appear before an individ individual with a pure soul. One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. I, Oritamu, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. I'm not so sure about that. Not gonna lie. Can I really not read that? Why not? Urgh. Why can't I read that? Also, there's another recipe over here. Err, let me try to get a good shot of that somewhat. It's not really easy. In a small space. The relationship class in the afternoon and the cooking class at night. And then, all the studying too. I'm so tired, please, could you talk with someone else? Okay. I'm sorry. Let's head out. Now, to go have a look at some important stuff. So, if we go over here, there's a sledgehammer up here that we can just grab. How have I not taken a picture of an iron sledgehammer? I don't know. But anyway, if we go down here, we can see some sand seals. And you. The sand seals here were all trained. By Frelly, they're faster and they'll wait for you to return to them. By comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off in the moment the moment you dismount. It's definitely worth renting a trained one. Frelly puts her heart into training them. Frelly uh, trained the sand seals used in the sand seal races too, of course. What races? The sand seal races are a Garuda tradition. It's pretty simple. You use a sand seal to race around a course to see who is the fastest. Just go out the southeast gate of the town and head to the right. You'll see the starting line immediately. No harm in taking a peek, right? Okay. Now, what's over here in this room? Probably not anything important. It's just a room. But there's a lot of details in the area around the place. Now, if I talk to... Hang on, I'm just gonna go in here. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to go in there. It's fine. If you're hoping to cross the vast Garuda Desert, sand seal surfing is the best way to do it. It's only 20 rupees to rent one. Need a shield too? Just pay 50 rupees, what do you say? So we can buy... Well, rent sand seals here to go around the desert quickly. We'll probably do this at some point, but not at the moment. I wonder if it's just a thing outside of... Outside Gruda Town. Anyway, the Gruda Desert is vast. You'd be wise to take a sand seal if you're traveling beyond town. Okay. Now, over here, we have this person. What's a Vo doing here? Surprised? You might not. You might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you don't fool me easily. So easily. Don't worry though, it doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay for a bit and chat. Uh, the, the, the goddess statue? Which is right here. Oh, the goddess statue has been here since long before I was ever born. No one here really believes in that stuff anymore though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with Avo again. Will you humor me a little bit longer? Ever left the town? Mm. Aho! I may not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. It was a rare thing for Avo not to notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. 
I'd heard of the lover's pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. I travelled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The vow no longer turned uh, when I walked in. I don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. It's such a treat to chat with a vow again. Were you human? No, I'm done. Just live your life to the fullest, little Vo. Well, let's use the Goddess Statue now. And I think I'm going to do Stamina Vessel. So let's do that. And I think if I do Stamina Vessel again... That should complete my second stamina wheel. It feels good to have a full second stamina wheel. Also, there's a chest that's right here randomly. So let's grab that if possible. And we get a golden bow. This Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine ornamentations along its limbs. Designed for hunting and warfare alike. This bow was an engineer to strike distant targets. Let me just drop that quickly and take a picture of that. In fact, I should probably take a picture of the... the Rito bow as well. Not that one. This one. The Falcon bow. No, turn around. I don't like how the camera is... the... camera point. You know the words. The way that the camera's facing when you're not using the camera. Is yeah, yeah. I am not explaining this well. The way the camera is pointing outside of the camera is which way the camera will be pointing when you go into the camera, which turns Link around. So anyway, oh. what's the password? Uh, e. Oh. What comes after that? Uh, T. Oh. After that, um, C. Must come last. Exclamation point. Go drink milk in the bar or something. So obviously I don't know the club's secret. So. <laughs> Very obviously. But anyway. Let's just. Have a quick look at the other side I think of town. Also I think. If I look around here maybe. I have something to do. Great, you got the last of my free time. What with that greeting? What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need it to, do more to, to make my items. If only I had ten, just ten. If some, some kind Vi would give me ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that it can transfer to whoever wears it. There's nothing I can do to, uh, about not having any flint, though. Tools of the trade. I'm sorry that you came all the way to, uh, to see me for nothing. I'm sorry, I haven't been able to get any flint yet, so I'm not in a position to make any accessories right now. Hmm, I wonder if uh, I'd be able to work if a kind, generous Vi were to give me 10 pieces of flint, though. I wish I could check my inventory during a text thing. Here's some flint, though. Hmm? Well, I do appreciate the gesture, but unless I have 10 pieces of flint to get started with, the, with there's no point. I'm sorry you came all this way for nothing. Okay, how much do I have for starters? So I can get a base point for how many I need. I have seven. I need three more. I could possibly find some. Maybe. That seems unlikely. And also I can't track it individually. I don't think. Which is also very unfortunate. Because I was hoping to be able to just search for flint. Because sometimes it's just lying on the ground. Anyway. Uh -huh. 
What is it? I feel like I've met you before, but I don't recall having any Harlan acquaintances. Especially since I've only ever sta served in the palace. I've never seen even set foot beyond the town walls. I thought I could relax at least, at last. Now that, uh, Bellara has come of age. But then something like this happens. I'm retired now though, so there isn't anything I can do about it. What happened? A little while ago, a gang of thieves slipped into the palace and stole the chief's heirloom, the Thunder Helm. It's bad enough to be robbed in general, but for the object uh, stolen to be valued, to be a valued heirloom belonging to our chi own chief, if I was still in charge, any guard who failed to catch those thieves would be doing some serious manual labor. And then they'd be thrown back into training, all the way from the beginning, no exceptions. That's pretty rough. Anyway, let's go down here. Talk to you. What's a Vi uh, from out of town doing in a place like this? What are you doing? Hehe, <laughs> I'm still keeping it a secret from Mama, but I'm growing a fruit garden here. Then I can eat all the fruit I want until my tummy gets filled right up. I haven't figured out what I want to plant here yet, though. If I grow a lot, I'll share some of it with you, okay? Okay. It doesn't seem to be growing well at all. At the moment. But there's also some stuff in this water. And if I climb up here, maybe... Ah! You can't climb when there's a waterfall next to it. Let's go up here, though. Doesn't seem to be any problems at the moment. There might also be a later thing that I'm thinking about, so... I might just leave that for now. We can keep looking around town. Oh, was that a thing that just dropped off the wall? Probably, and it probably disappeared. Another exit to town over here. And it looks like you can buy some more sand seals as well. From here. That's actually useful to know, because I didn't realize this area existed, basically. Anything in there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I might actually try something. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let me see. The Noble, noble Canteen. Oh, are you a Hardy and Vi? We don't need, we don't see too many of you. I can't tell how old you are. But you look a little young to be coming to my shop. You see, we mix special drinks here. Drinks are, are definitely just for adults. Special drinks? Well, a big part of the drink is the ice we use from the ice house. It makes them especially refreshing. Well, you are a little young to be, to be here, don't you think? Recommendations? Mm. Our featured cocktail is made called Noble Pursuit. Many of our customers come here uh, specifically to order it. The light, sweet taste, the cool sensation from each sip. It's like drinking distilled motivation. Well, you're a, noble, a little too young to be here, don't you think? How about milk? Milk? We don't carry anything as childish as milk here. Did Greta tell you to come here and ask that? That store clerk is just playing a prank on you. Good grief, doesn't she have anything better to do with her time? She's always being so sensitive about her shop, but hiding something just makes young people more interested. Well, you're a little too young. Okay, that's all you're going to say. Shay, you also talk about somebody else. Can I get that text again? That reminds me, I haven't seen Pocky around here lately. She used to come here every day to drink a noble pursuit too. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't know why I'm even telling you this. That's okay. It's good to know. You heard the rumor? <laughs> I was going to tell you. I finally got my hands on the password for. you know where. Uh. Seriously? Wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Uh. Maybe. But I'm really interested. <laughs> anyway, the password is. Mm. Wait a second. Huh? You. Did you just really think we wouldn't see you standing there, listening to our conversation? So rude, this is a private conversation, go away. 
I just wanted to join in. I'll go now. Oh, you look like you are gone. Stupid foe. Who needs them? Oh, and another recipe as well. I don't think I've ever seen that there, which is surprising. But I probably usually have the camera locked going straight forward, so. But anyway, they're about to tell the password. And conveniently, if we go up this way, we could talk to you. I was right, it was right over there the whole time. I thought it was strange that the sandstorm over there never li lifted. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Huh? And what is a hot vi like yourself doing here? What are you doing? Wow. I'm an archaeologist, of sorts. I was just poring over some ancient text that I discovered the other day. <laughs> and I finally decoded it. Well, part of it at least. But the rest is not far off. With this discovery, I'll finally be able to make the na a name for myself as an archaeologist. Eh? Of course, you and I meeting here is no coincidence. I've never been one to question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research, if you can keep a secret, my lips are sealed. Hmm. There's a temple east of here, near the entrance to the Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of the heroines, said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered the ancient sculpture. It reads, When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. It's believed that people once came from around the world in search of the heroine's blessing. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear that anyone has found it yet. What blessing? I'm not sure what exactly it means, but maybe I'll find out once I've deciphered more of the text. I'm not sure if this is related, but it said the heroines held powers that were part of a bigger whole. Each heroine had a different power. Skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, mo motion, and gentleness. But they all look the same to me. I should understand the entire script before long, but that's only the beginning of my problems. Uh. That divine beast has been moving around the, the area, making it harder for me to conduct my research. That thing has no respect for... Ac academia. Okay, so we've got a shrine quest, and if we go over here, we can listen to the conversations in the bar. What was with that little Hi Hylian Vi earlier, anyway? Oh. Forget her, just hurry up and tell us the password, Yado. <laughs> Yado. Oh, that's right, the password, it's GSC Diamond. I have overheard Solar talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. Okay. Might also just take a screenshot of that to remember. What could that- oh, I get it. Gerudo Secret Club, GSC. But what's the diamond at the end mean? Mm. Who knows? wonder if it's supposed to explain that at some point. I don't think I remember it explaining it. But now we know that secret code for there. We can probably have a look at that at some point. But that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.